The Central Weather Bureau is planning to change how it measures earthquake intensity. Currently, it uses a scale of eight levels, but as early as the end of this year, it wants to break the scale down into 10 levels, that is to give rescuers a more accurate picture of damage after an earthquake. Earthquakes are frequent in Taiwan. About 18,500 earthquakes occur every year, and approximately 1,000 of them are felt above ground. To allow more precise reports of earthquake damage, the CWB plans to update its seismic intensity scale, adding two levels. The high intensity levels are too broad. They cover too wide a range. This might lead to low damage areas getting mixed with high damage areas. It could create trouble for disaster rescue teams. So in the future, we will subdivide the high intensity levels into strong and weak. For example, 5 on the scale will be divided into upper 5 and lower 5. Level 6 on the scale will be divided into upper 6 and lower 6. The new seismic intensity scale will make it easier for disaster units to assess earthquake damage. Last year, the CWB upgraded its seismic network, increasing its sampling rate from 50 a second using 16-bit resolution to 100 samples a second using 24-bit. The CWB says this has enabled more accurate reports of earthquake data. With regard to our draft amendment, the draft is nearly complete, but there are still many administrative procedures that we have to go through. These include discussions with scholars and experts as well as public hearings. A consensus must be reached. The expected date is the second half of the year. Public transit systems like the railway, high-speed rail, and MRT all look to the seismic intensity scale to know whether to slow their trains or suspend operations after an earthquake. After the scale is updated, public transit systems will re-examine their earthquake codes.